Welcome Citygate kids! We are so glad that you're here today. Today is the start of Summer Sundays! Can you believe it? I know! But first, I think we should say hello to any visitors in the audience. If it's your first time here, we want to give you a big high five. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa, that was great guys. To celebrate, we've created for you a special sports day competition. It's going to be so much fun and in a minute we're going to show you our contestants. Each week the contestants will compete in a number of challenges to earn points and the player with the most challenges at the end of the series will earn a gold medal. How exciting! I know! Today's going to be so much fun. All right, we want to show you our friends. We're going to introduce to you the contestants. Boys and girls, we have Lauren here on the purple team. So Lauren, we want to ask you, what did you eat for breakfast this morning? You know, I had five donuts, all with purple frosting. I had some muffins. I also had some cookies, also with purple frosting. That's the only Delicious. way to do it. Mm -hmm. So lots of sugar. Wow, that's a light breakfast there. I think that'll sure to help you win or pass out. It's fine, it's fine. We have Team Orange here, Daniel representing, and we have a few questions for you, Daniel, okay? If you could just look at your competitors right now and tell them one message, what would it be? I've been training for this with my entire body. You see this finger? I was working on it all day long. These muscles, intense. Watch out. Wow, well thank you, Daniel. I, I think he's one to uh, look out for. We have Ashley here on Team Green. Now, Ashley, we wanted to know, what is your biggest weakness in this competition? You know, maybe something that you need to watch out for. Well, guys, I really hate to tell everybody, but um, actually, sun. The sun is her weakness. The sun. We will pray for you, Ashley, that the Lord gives you strength today. We have Cole here on Team Red. Now, Cole, I wanted to know, how often do you salsa dance? Well, thank you for asking, Rudy. I at least salsa dance three times a day, morning, lunch, and then dinner, right after dinner. It's always when you have the most food in your belly, specifically oh. salsa. So you can get that most hip action, and then whenever someone asks you to salsa dance, you can jump right in. Wow, that is amazing. Oh. I agree with that. We have Team Blue here, Michael representing. He's pretty awesome. So we have some questions to ask you, Mr. Michael. So I was wondering, if you were to win this competition, what would your victory dance be? Oh, oh it would be this. Wow, if you look at those arms go, wow. Wow, I okay. need to practice that move. That Man. is amazing. We have Tressa here on Team Yellow. Now, Tressa, I was wondering, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Um, one. One. It's you actually it. five. It's actually five. One. I checked. Yeah. Wow, that was so much fun. I really think that could be anyone's game. All right, now that our players are ready, let's see what game they'll be playing. They will start with the scoot and plunge, where they will only use plungers to scoot themselves across the parking lot. <laughs> they will then move on to the watermelon face-off, where they will have to spit a total of four seeds into their cup before moving on. Once they complete that challenge, they will race to the Super Soaker Solo, where they will use a Super Soaker to knock off their Solo Cups off the table in front of them. Then, they will move on to the Slip and Slide, where they will slide and grab as many bonus point flags and stuffed animals along the way before they slide through to the finish line. Wow, Miss Kimber, that is an intense competition. It will be interesting to see who will emerge victorious in this competition. It definitely will, Mr. Rudy. It definitely will. <laughs> All right, folks, our athletes are ready to go. But kids, we need your help. You need to choose which team color you will be cheering for today. And you need to cheer as loud as you can so they can win today's competition. Are you ready? I don't know if they're ready. Did you choose? Did you? You have to choose. Are you ready? You can't just pick all of them. Are you? You got one? You got one? Okay. I think, got one. okay. I think they're ready, Miss Kimber. All right, here we go. So, athletes, take your mark. Set. Go! And they're up on the scoot and plunge. 
Wow, look at him go. Look, look at him go. go. Team Red has taken the lead. Wow, Team Red really knows how to use a plunger. Look at those plungers This is go. not his first rodeo, let me tell you what. Do they know that those plungers have been used before? Oh, no, that's what makes it funny. That's unfortunate. They should never know that it's been used. Team Red is looking to finish out this food It's okay, food Blue, plunge. I believe in you. I believe in you, Blue. Blue team has fallen off of the wheel. Okay, and we got green team next. Orange. They look going towards oh, the watermelons. Oh, purple and yellow in a tie. Come on, Blue, you got this. They're going for the watermelon wow. spit right now. Uh, you know, I could really go for a watermelon right now. You want to take a snack break? I'm pretty bad. Yeah, this do pretty oh, no, no, no. We're in the game time. Okay, okay. Wow, wow. This is amazing. Look at them go. All right. I think they're at the watermelon right now. I think they've practiced this before. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, and green team is off in the wow. lead. Wow, look at her go. Face -off. Look at her go. And, and purple, purple team is sliding orange. all wow. the way. Whoa, they are getting orange it. Has Wow, gone. look at that. Slip and slide. They're off to Super Soaker Solo. Let's see wow. who can get their Solo Cups off the table. They're firing their this Super is my Soakers. Favorite. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look, at one go. cup off. look at them go. There's water everywhere. It's crazy. They it's have crazy. aimed precisely at those things. Yeah, they've been training for this day their entire Lives. And Orange Team has taken the lead right now. You gotta cheer on your teams. Who do you want to win, kids? Here, over here. Oh, oh, okay, yes. And Orange Team. We have a winner. Won the competition. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Look at them go. Yeah, thank you so much for donating your stuffed animals yeah. today, Mr. Ritty, for the cause. They're using my stuff. I, yep. I mean, um, yep. yes, of course, yes. You're welcome yep. for that, Mr. Kimber. Yeah. Um, Mr. You Sloth will that? love the slippers. Yeah, yeah they, you probably can't use them. Man, did you see that epic finish line? That wow. was amazing. He so good. ran across that line in style. Yeah, I mean, wow. I could just hear the slow mo and the music. There was oh. definitely. Did music we playing. see a victory dance? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to check the replay. Yes. On Look at him go. Yellow and purple. Yellow and purple. I guess those donuts didn't help her today. I think you're a little bit slowing her down, yeah. just a little bit. Yep. Purple and in last, but she did a great job. Good Super job. awesome. Good job, wow. kids, cheering on your team. They did amazing they did. today. Yeah. So proud of you. That was brilliant. Orange team are the winners. Now, don't worry if your team didn't win. It's always next week. Absolutely. Now, it's time for praise and worship. So, get ready to dance, sing, jump, make lots of space. In case you were wondering what praise and worship is, it's the time where we praise and honour God because we love Him and we do it with all that we have within us. All right, are you ready kids? Let's go.
Thank you, Jesus. You set me free. Christ, my Savior, you rescued me. Thank you, Jesus. You set me free. Christ, my Savior, you rescued me. What a great time of praise and worship. Well done, Citygate kids. Well, just before we go into our campfire stories, because who loves campfires here? Do you ever go camping and then maybe you have a bonfire or like a fire pit? I know maybe we can't like quite go to many different places at this time, but you know, you can do that in your garden if you've got one. I know some people who maybe pitch a tent in their gardens and it's really fun. Well, anyways, we're going to go into a campfire story and today, just before we go into it, can I encourage you to really, really listen and really watch this because I want you to learn something new today. So let's go to our friend 
for Campfire Story. Hey guys, welcome to the backyard campground. Summer means getting to camp out under the stars, even if that's in your own backyard. My favorite thing is sharing stories around the campfire. So, what story are we hearing today, Mr. Kellen? Well, since we're learning about perseverance, I thought we'd hear about a guy who talked a lot about perseverance and why it was so important. His name was Paul. Paul from my cooking class? What? No, Paul from the Bible. Oh, okay. Because Paul from my cooking class only perseveres in burning cookies. Uh, okay, well, moving on. Like I was saying, Paul, Bible Paul, is one of the most well-known Christians ever. He shared about Jesus with a lot of people, and he wrote most of the New Testament in the Bible. He knew and talked a lot about perseverance. Paul compared persevering to running a race, kind of like you were comparing it to crunches. He did? Yeah. Let's look at this verse in 1 Corinthians 9, verse 24. It says, in a race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize. You know that, don't you? So run in a way that you will get the prize. Paul is telling us that no matter what we face, to never give up, to persevere, to run our race to win. Did Paul run his race and win? He did. Paul tells us in 2 Timothy 4, verse 7, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. No matter what Paul faced, and he faced a lot, like being beaten, being thrown in prison, being made fun of, and being kicked out of cities, even through all of those things, he never gave up. He persevered. He still told people about Jesus and how much Jesus loves them. He knew that he had the strength to persevere because of Jesus. Wow, so because of Jesus, we have strength to persevere in anything? Yep, Jesus is with us no matter what. And because he persevered, we can persevere too. Let's look at it this way. I have this piece of paper right here. This is going to represent us. And this rock is going to represent hard things that come our way. Now, on our own, when hard things come our way, it's hard to persevere. But check this out. This paper towel roll is going to represent Jesus. You see, when we let our lives be wrapped around Jesus and his strength and his power, what happens when hard things come our way? Whoa, we are able to hold up against hard things. We are able to persevere. That's right. Jesus gives us the strength to persevere. He gives us the strength to never give up. Fantastic Bible story, I really enjoy that. Now, you may be wondering what you can persevere in. You might be thinking, Tim, I'm only, I'm only five years old and there's not really a lot I can persevere in. All I do is eat and play. Well, the truth is, you've already shown perseverance. You might be thinking, have I? Where? Over the last few months, things look very different. You've heard of this thing called lockdown, right? Where as a nation, in fact, the whole world pretty much stopped. You know, schools closed, restaurants closed, cinemas closed, um, soft play closed, um, my favorite gelato place in Bromley closed, McDonald's, KFC. Anyways, you get the point. You know, a lot of things stopped and then you had to stay at home for so long, but you guys did not give up. You guys kept going. Maybe even, maybe there were times that you know, it was really boring at home, but guess what? You stayed at home and that's showing perseverance. 
not being able to go out, not being, being, not being able to see your family, your friends. You persevered. You didn't give up. And parents, 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 mom and dad, you persevered too. Well done. A big thumbs up for you right now. Can you just give your parents a big high five? Maybe your grandparents, um, give them a big hug and just tell them how much grateful you are and thankful that they persevered too. Because they could have given up, they could have gone, oh, oh, I'm so tired because they're always home and they always cry, they always want snacks all the time. But you know, your parents, stayed with you, your parents loved you even more. So well done parents for persevering too. Even though it may not have been easy, both you children and parents, none of you gave up. And on behalf of Citygate Kids, we are so, so proud of you. Right now on the chat, I'm gonna give you a big round of applause. So everyone right now on, on Facebook and YouTube, we're gonna champion you for persevering and well done. What a great, great start to the summer. So well done for persevering. And I want to encourage you to keep that perseverance. Do not give up. Can you say it with me? We're gonna say it together on a count of three. We're gonna say, do not give up. Are you ready? One, two, three. Do not give up. I want you to say it again, but this time um, with a little bit more power, with a little bit more energy. And um, maybe you have to nod your head like I did as well, because it's like, it feels much better for my hair. Okay, we're gonna say, do not give up. Okay, on a count of three, here we go. One, two, three. Do not give up. Oh, very good, very good. Hey, just before we go into the next part of the service, can I just ask you to close your eyes as I pray for you? Thank you, Father God, that you helped us persevere, Lord, even at the start of lockdown. Thank you that uh, our parents did not give up on us. We pray that you'll bless our parents in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that you continue to bless us as well and as we start off this summer. Thank you, Father God, that you give us the strength. Thank you that you would never give up on us and you help us persevere even more. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, by the way, if you have any questions about uh, Jesus, if you want to find out more about him or want to know what the next steps are, if you want to grow your relationship, why don't you head over to the link in the chat right now? We would love to talk to you. Today was a lot of fun and I'm so glad that you guys could join us. I know you're so short, but thank you for spending your Sunday morning with us. And lastly, parents, if you've got any photos or videos of your children during your online service, we would love to see them. So please send it in the contact details on the screen right now. Okay, well, you guys have been fantastic. What a great, great start to our summer Sundays. I'm looking forward to week two of summer Sundays next week. I wonder what we're gonna learn. I wonder what we're gonna play. I wonder which color team's gonna win. Hmm. Well, I'll see you guys again next week. Have a fantastic day.